Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of It's So Fluffy Nails. Today we're continuing into our look at Chanel's Fall 2015 Les Autumnales collection. Um, and in particular, today we are focusing at, on Chitane. Uh, Chitane, at first glance, I thought it was kind of like a, an eggplanty brown color or a rust color and um, I had to I had to just look it up on Google Translate. Chanel uses so many French words and this is one that I, I couldn't even guess at. So unless you speak French you're gonna be like me and going on to Google Translate and according to Google Translate Chitane translates to the word chestnut which is um, well is very apropos because this is kind of a brown color and it almost camouflages perfectly with the table behind it. But um, when I think of chestnut, I'm think I usually think of a slightly lighter brown, like the color of um, people's hair, <laughs> or um, even though those roasted nuts that people love to get during the holidays. Um, but this color comes off, I imagine, more like if you um, took some something rusty and mix some dark oil into it, some black oil, as if you were in a garage, mix it all and then glammed it up and then called it Chanel. Um, because it's kind of got that quality to it, but it's just at the same time a very luxurious formula. And um, in particular, I think that if you compared this formula to the Vert Obscure, it's not quite as translucent in application. So compared to the Vert Obscure, which I do think comes off more like a, a gel, uh, a gel-like formula. Chitane is slightly more viscous, so to me this comes off a little bit more creamy, and I'm not sure if it's something in the base that's actually different, but um, I am going to go ahead and do a few applications of this. Uh, this is Chitane after two coats already. This is one, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, an example of um, a single swipe of Chitane on this finger here. And uh, you can see that in one coat, it's kind of got like a, a light brown to it. And if any of you Chanel lovers out there have the color hot chocolate, which I've never uh, ever seen in person, but I, I've seen online um, and can give any comments about how close this is to hot chocolate. I, in my head, this is what hot chocolate would look like. Um, but since this is only a single coat, <laughs> it's kind of got a little bit of the streaky, the, the streaky whiteness from the finger bed coming through. Um, one coat definitely does not do it in this case. Um, so even though this is technically rushed, I'm going to go ahead and do the second coat so you can see how deep it gets after the second coat. And one thing to note is that since it is kind of a little bit more of a viscous formulation, the edges are a little bit more forgiving. Uh, if you kind of miss the edges, if you're like me, you're a little bit quick and sloppy when it comes to, to applying your nail polish. Um, so maybe at the very, very edge, you can see that it's a light, maybe a light brown, but it's really, to me, it's unnoticeable, especially if you're just uh, walking around and not letting people staring at your fingers. Um, so this is a nice formula to use in my opinion. It's kind of, uh, it's creamy and it was fairly easy to apply. The second coat pretty much covered any of the, the whiteness that might have been showing through. Um, I think both, uh, pretty much actually any type of top coat I think would look great in this formulation. Um, it's kind of got a high shine to it. Um, straight out of the bottle, which you can definitely um, amp up with using a high shine top coat. I think that it's uh, viscous enough and um, at the same time in a single coat it has kind of that translucence that if you do decide to use a jelly or gel top type top coat it would also be great and honestly if you have one of those uh, mattifying top coats I think that it might actually feature the brown a lot more. Um, but if any of you guys want to try that, please let me know how it turns out. I'm so curious right now. Um, so I think that this color is 
great for just anything casual. I don't personally think that I would ever want to use this for um, going to, to go out to holiday parties. I think it's a little bit, um, I guess, yeah, it is more, it's very understated, but a lot more casual compared to anything else that I would have in my collection. So I, I might go with something else before I would take this to a party. But I think in terms of um, wearing it to the office, I think this is great. In terms of um, your wardrobe, I think anytime you want to wear a, a maroon sweater or so this winter, I think this would really um, offset the red. I think it might actually, um, the, the, any red colors you would wear would bring out the redness uh, of this chestnut color. So um, looking at the, the next section, we're going to look at possible uh, related colors in, in my collection. Um, and if you have any that you think are applicable, please free, feel free to put those down in, my com in your comment sections. Um, so since I saw this and thought that it was going to be kind of a rusty color, the first colors that I chose are, um, well, red colors. Um, the first one I thought was applicable was accessory because it does have a lot of that rusty quality that I thought um, Chitane had in the bottle. When you look at them side by side, it really doesn't um, have as much red as the accessory. So uh, when you put them, uh, Chitane and the accessory next to each other, like they have kind of the similar family, but there's so much more darkness to Chitane that uh, if you're looking for um, something similar, this is not going to be it. Moving on to Rouge Noir, this one actually has a lot more of a bright red, less rustiness. So other than the fact that it's a, a dark color and it's kind of vampy, that's about uh, where the comparison can end. And um, I thought maybe this would be applicable, but it, you can see here it's super red. This is called Bordeaux Lust. It's from Tom Ford. And it's um, even though it's a dark red, it's still a very, very bright color compared to Chitane. So moving on. This next color is probably the one that I thought was the most applicable. It's called Western Light. It was released a few years ago in a collection along with um, a, a white nail polish called Eastern Light. Um, and just looking at the bottle of Western Light, if you can see here, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Um, it's a little bit more metallic. It's got some shimmer to it, a lot of um, maybe red, gold, and uh, brown micro shimmer. So compared to the Chitane, I think that the, the basic color is very similar. And if you can see here, actually, let me flip these around. I have Western Light on this finger and Chitane on this finger. And to me, they're hardly discernible. Um, Chitane does come off a little bit darker. And I think that's, that's probably more uh, because it is a completely cream-based color, whereas this Western Light has some of that shimmer that's going to reflect uh, a little bit more light than a cream-based formula like Chitane. But overall, I think that they're very close. And maybe the only time that you would really notice the difference between these two colors is if you're under a spotlight or out in the sunlight, you'll be able to see the, the micro shimmers coming out in the Western Light color a lot more apparently. So um, moving on from Western Light, um, another color that I thought would be interesting to look at was Tirana. Tirana also came out in 2015. It's more of a classic brown if you just look at it at a flat color, disregarding the actual uh, metallic shimmer qualities that there is to this color. Um, but because of all the, the metallic shimmer that's in this particular color, it comes off a lot lighter than chitane. Um, so it's more of a copper colored and you would never expect to, to find chitane and tarana in the same family, even though in the bottle they're both kind of brown. <laughs> um, the last comparison I have for you was kind of a stretch. I thought maybe orage was going to be similar also, just because it's another dark color that uh, was released. And in the bottle, they look 
like they're completely different colors. This is an obvious blue gray, whereas this is again got next well actually next to the Raj it does look a lot more like a dark red, but um it's it's that chocolate brown. Um so when we look at Orage in comparison to the Chitane, on the fingers they both look very dark. So um I guess it's really up to you. It's really a dark, inky color too, but not quite as inky as Chitane. So um, I think that if you own Orage or Western Light, um, I think it's worth going into the store and taking a swatch of Chitane and seeing if it's something that you like. Definitely take the time to like put down the one swipe, walk around, or couple seconds or a minute or two and then go back and do the second coat so you can get the the true effect of chitane but um personally i do think that orage is different enough that if you own orage that maybe chitane is something worth going into because it's kind of in a darker a different color family but western light i think is so close so um if any of you guys want to make that comparison, please leave it in the comments. But I think that's all I have in terms of uh, depth for Chitane. Um, it's a nice neutral color. I, I think I'll be using it a lot for any casual get togethers that I have this winter. So I hope you guys get a lot of mileage out of your bottles too. Um, that please subscribe and leave any comments you have or any dupes that you think are relevant to this color. And please thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.